Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is going to be the fifth video on IELTS interview series. So without any further ado, let's get started. So guys, the next question that your interviewer might ask you could be about multi-threading, GCD that is Grand Central Dispatch and types of queues in iOS. So let's see how we will tackle these type of questions in our interview. Guys, suppose you have a mobile application running on the main thread that is responsible for the execution of code that ma manipulate the UI. Whenever you are packing your app with the time consuming pieces of code like download from the web or image processing on the main thread, this significantly slows down the UI performance and might even lead to its complete freezing. So here the uh, concept of threads come in the picture. Like threads are especially useful when you need to perform a lengthy task but don't want it to block the execution of the rest of the application. But suppose if you have an application and we are using a single thread in that, that is maybe a main thread that, are, that is also called UI thread and we are executing multiple tasks on that, then we will ultimately end up with getting delays in that case as well. So that's where the concept of multi-threading comes in the picture. So guys, if we talk about multi-threading, then the term concurrency comes along with it. So if there is the condition that we are using a single thread and we are getting a delay, so is there any way to change the application architecture so that such issues never occur? Yes, there is. I believe concurrency can help here as it is capable of executing two or more independent tasks like calculations, data download from the web or a drive, image processing, etc. This is not a free ride though. With the introduction of concurrency, code thread safety might get compromised in execution. As soon as you allow the task to be executed simultaneously, be prepared for issues with tasks gaining access to the same resources like changing the same variable on different threads or assessing the resources already blocked by the other task. This could ultimately lead to the demolition of those resources utilized on different threads. But in iOS development, concurrency is used to improve the productivity and UI responsiveness provided by several tools like Thread GCD that is also called Grand Central Dispatch. So it's safe to say that before Swift 3 emerged, the powerful GCD framework was using the C API, which was a tangle of hidden opportunities for user actions. Swift 3 changed it all. The GCD got a new easy to use syntax based on the GCD logic. To better realize how to use concurrency, let's figure out which key no notions operate with both the GCD and operation tools. The basic notion that is used is called Q. Now you must be wondering what is a Q? So guys, Q is nothing but a data structure. And whenever we talk about the iOS concurrency from a developer's perspective, queues will mostly likely be mentioned. The queues have closures lined up and according to the specified order, the system pulls them one by one and deploys them on the appropriate thread. The queues follow FIFO principle that is called first in, first out. And in multiple threads consisting the concurrency pattern. So as you can see in this picture, we have this single line that is arranged in a queue. You can say a line or queue, whatever you want. And the first one who is waiting for the response will get the first response. And the last one will get when he will come at the place where the first one is standing right now. That's the way which is called FIFO principle. All right. So there are two types of queues, serial queues and concurrent queues. Serial or consecutive, when the closures at the top of the queue gets pulled by iOS and operates until it ends, then pulls another queue element and so on. Like we arrange the you know line in a pattern and we take the we give the res uh, resource to each one of the tasks one by one without disturbing the arrangement. Whereas in concurrent one or you can call multi-threaded one, when the system pulls a closure at the top of the queue and initiates its execution in a certain thread, like suppose we have multiple tasks arranged and we start all of, the, all of them at the same time but we don't know which task will complete first. There is no arranged pattern, there is no certain pattern in which we can define or predetermine that which task will complete first. So if we difference between both of them then I would say serial one in serial one we know which task will complete first. We know the complete manner in which they will be performed. Whereas in concurrent one, we cannot predetermine the time that is going to be taken by a particular task and which task will complete first. So that is the basic difference between both of them. 
As soon as the queue is created, there are two methods of placing jobs into it. First one is synchronous and the second one is asynchronous. So the synchronous method present a synchronous tasking placement related to the current queue. The sync method returns the control to the current queue after the entire task has been completed and thus blocks the current queue as you can see clearly in the given picture. If we talk about asynchronous, then I would say asynchronous method is an asynchronous tasking placement related to the current queue. Async as opposed to the sync method returns the control to the current queue immediately after the launch of the task on a different queue without waiting for it to the end. So the async method does not block the task execution on the current queue. So what I believe is it is much better than a synchronous method. So now let's talk about global dispatch queues. Besides the custom made user queues, iOS offers some out of the box global dispatch queues of five kinds. The first one is main queue which is responsible for all the UI manipulation. You can also write it as in the, if we talk about the Swift syntax, we can write it like let like main equal to dispatch queue dot main. If you need to execute a function or a closure affecting the UI anything, this function or closure has to be placed on the main queue as this is the first priority global dispatch queue. There are four background concurrent queues with different QoS capabilities and priorities. So what is QoS? QoS full form is quality of service. So it is uh, you know divided on the basis of priority. You can see the first one is user interactive, which is that work that happens on the main thread such as animations or drawing operations. The second one is user initiated, work that the user kicks off and should yield immediate results. This work must be completed for the user to continue. Third one is utility, work that may take a bit and does not need to finish right away, analogous to progress bars and importing data. And the fourth one is background, that is this work is not visible to the user, backups, syncs, indexing, etc. So I hope the complete concept is clear to you guys. If you still have any doubt, please write it in the comment section down below and I will surely reply to that. So guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to click on the notification bell as well. So that every time I upload a new video, you get notified. So guys, that's all for now. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Jai Hind.